Hey y'all, coming to you from the beautiful Double Tree by Hilton Biloxi. 2021 cruising the coast, and today is the Biloxi stop. One of the biggest stops of the week. It's gonna be a big crowd down there. So let me hurry up and get the camera turned around. Let's check some things out. Yeah, so that picture that we just saw to me embodies what cruising the coast is. You have a Mustang convertible, a classic Mustang convertible sitting next to an Acura NSX, sitting next to a four-wheel drive Jeep. It's all here. And today is the Biloxi stop. The kids, they, they, they get in line at like four in the morning to get into this Biloxi stop. Well, that's a cool truck, isn't it? Just beautiful colors. I went to shoot a feature on it real quick and I'm shooting with two cameras. And of course, I walked to Biloxi. <laughs> And you know how it is when you like think you're gonna have a quick day or you think that like it's uh you know less than your normal day and so yeah i just grabbed my camera i'm just walking down here you know whatever eight or nine blocks to biloxi i'm gonna cover that and i'll be on my way yeah you know i didn't have my car with me i didn't have my bag with me i didn't have all the equipment that i need and so anyways here we are biloxi and the reason i put this video in is because I talk about, I try to get you clean shots, and this is what I work around. Nuts, butts, and guts. <laughs> How cool is this thing? A horse. A mechanical horse. He, that's cruising the coast, you know? That is cruising the coast. I mean, from, you know, Christy Lee was in town. She's doing some autographs. She's going to be here for the next couple of days. Um... You know, I, I, you just can't put it into words. Like I said, you, I try to do it with video, but man, it's just hard to put into words what crews, I mean, look, you got a gremlin with a hole in the hood, for gosh sakes. You know, I, I mean, you got two people riding around on a mechanical horse. You got a gremlin with a hole in the hood. You got all the, you know, classic cars that you could ever imagine from, you know, pre-war to, 60s, 70s, muscle cars, pro street cars, pro touring cars, you know, just trucks. Everything is at cruising the coast. It's all good. Everything's good at cruising the coast. This is, like I say, one of my favorite events to cover. I would absolutely look forward to not only the cars, but the people and the weather and the location and just everything that is cruising caught this truck coming into Margaritaville the other day and I got another walk by so we got that one running and sitting what a good looking truck whoever that is man y'all mail that and it doesn't have to be again cruising the coast it's a driving event so a lot of this stuff is not you know top-notch appearance wise some of it is not top-notch mechanical wise either you see plenty of people pushing stuff I don't know if they run out of gas and overheated or what happened, but um, yeah, some of it is not even top-notch mechanical stuff. But it's all cool. It's all somebody's pride and joy. It's somebody's transportation. Somehow they're able to be down here cruising the coast, having a good time. That's just kind of a shot down the street so you can get, you know, again, how do I give that perspective? And folks, everybody screams, a drone, drone, I got a drone. If you're looking to buy one, you know, send me an email. I'll sell you mine. You can't put it over crowds. That knock off the whole one car. You can't put it over a crowd. And I don't trust it. It, it, it loses contact. Man, what a good looking truck. I'm sorry. It loses contact, and I am not taking liability for a drone crashing into, say, that truck. I, even if I had the money, I wouldn't care. I mean, even if I, I could put it back to normal, I wouldn't care. I wouldn't want to jack up that dude's truck. So, sorry about that. I get uh, I do the best I can, but, man, what a good looking El Camino. You know, for all that I tell you, they're drivers, a lot of it is really, really nice truck. You know, that car there, who knows? I didn't look at it close, but I could probably win some shows. That's a straight car. And, of course, there are plenty of trucks and trailers in town. So, there's a lot of cars that have been trailered in. You know, they drive them on the coast, but they're not willing to drive them 2,000 miles or 800 miles from home. And, again, this video I tried to cover, get a little bit of everything so everybody would you know, have something to see something that they enjoyed. I, I don't know how well I did on the imports on this one. But, I mean, you go from an Oldsmobile to a rat ride to a Mopar to a 
with a Chevy truck to like a Volkswagen. No, it's a Dodge truck. Two Mopars and a Volkswagen. Not bad. That's a pretty good mix, wouldn't you end up say? What a great event. If you've never been, look what you're missing. And it's this way every year. This year is the 25th anniversary, so, um, you know, they, they, they had kids in the house last night. Holy smokes, I almost forgot to mention that. Ah, it, it, incredible. I don't know, they're not aging. They're not getting any older. I saw them eight, nine years ago. I've seen them four or five times. Every time they show up and they deliver, they rock your head off. Kiss was awesome in Biloxi last night. Shout out to the boys. Y'all rocked us great. Thank you, guys. Man, look at the color on that car. Just beautiful. It's not candy. It's almost a metal. Not a metallic, but almost a metal. And what a cool wagon. A Ford. Country Squire laying on the ground. Man. I didn't know how much I loved one of those until I saw that one. That is a cool car. Into Malibu, right? For my day and age, and you see those things all the time, and now you don't see any. And there is a really, really nice one. Back to these big rig rods. And unless you, unless unless somebody comes up with something better, that's what I'm going with. Rig rods. Make these big Goliath-like trucks or cars and stuff. A lot of stuff. A lot of good-looking cars and trucks down here, guys. There is no way, I mean, I couldn't even tell you how many cars were in Look at that Corvette, beautiful. to the show in Austin, and I noticed that it was me a lot of issues knocking. Elvis was in the house, though. And he sounds good. Probably sounds better than a real Elvis at this point. <laughs> My boy Ronnie and his buddies were in, and uh, they always got some cool cars. Give you a little walk by those. I met Ryan down here at um, Golf Court, like on Sunday a few years back, and wanted to punch him the first time so I met him. And he's turned out to be one of my, one of my favorite people. I, just, I love him. He's a great guy. He just, uh, he's just awesome. He's, he's Southern hospitality. He's that Mississippi, Louisiana type of personality. And when you look at that, this is one side, one corner, looking back into it. And it goes so far, you can't even see it. Cruising the coast, you gotta love it. So there you go from the 2021 Cruise in the Coast event. The Biloxi Stock Cruise in, whatever you want to call it. Hope y'all enjoyed it. See ya.